Zahir, my colleague is responsible about your zipkeepers and about the archaeological site. So we can be as good as not allowed to enter inside this home, okay? And like other two, uh, Zahir has only two cards. And its size and unique location suggests that it must have belonged to very important Nabati individual or family. Why? Because if you want to do like this, you have to pay a lot of money to, uh, to select the size in the mountain. And for sure, you have to find a good chapter to start your search. Yeah? Okay. And when we look at the door, above the door, there is an eagle. Can you see it? Yes. Yeah, this is the main god or the chief god for the Nabati. It's called the Shara. And above the Shara, there is an can you see it? Yeah. This is the foundation inscription. From this we know that who the owner of this room, who allowed to use it when they carve it and sometimes the name of the carpet. From this we know that it belonged to Lihyan San Akuza and Lihyan San Akuza was a leader and he was very rich because he tried to do something different, something special and he did the largest rocky facade at Hegra. And also it's considered the iconic of Al-Ula. period inside it. Why? Because it's incomplete, unfinished. When we look at the lower third where the remains of a stool, they never removed by stone masons and also from inside as a small room, empty, nothing inside it. Okay, if you have any questions, feel free. Do we know what tools they use to carve these mountains? Yeah, yeah simple tools. Hammers, stakes and chisels. Really? Yeah. <laughs> Any idea how long it took for them? About one and a half years. Okay. Enjoy, take your time.